I want to show you some choices for your MFD. Uh, the default page is the MFD with the engine instruments large. And what we will do in flight is typically we will go, and we have this on the memory button here. So we engage memory button 2, a smaller depiction of our route. And on top of it, we get the last waypoint, we passed the next waypoint, the next waypoint, and uh, in, in the last line, we have our arrival airport, and in between, we have one more waypoint. Now, let's say we want a larger flight route, so again, to the display control panel, and we have it here on switch three. And what we get now is a bigger picture with some terrain depiction. And we can also toggle here on the side between other ranges. We make it larger. We get our whole flight path to the arrival airport. Or we can also go zoom in. Let's say when we have a TPS target here, we sometimes zoom in 5 or 5 minutes. There's also some choices in what we can add to the MFD. And one choice is that we add nearest airports on our map. From the next page, we go typically to the MFD menu page. And we activate nearest airports. We could also activate something like high nav aids or terminal waypoints and intersections. We could activate also MDBs. And let me show you how the picture now looks on our MFD. Of course it gets a lot of clutter when we add all this information. But if you need to look for a waypoint or a UR along your route, then you would uh, put this option on and just zoom in a little. Let's say on the default MFD page with the flight route on the map, we want to get some more specific flight plan relevant data. We go on the FMS 3000 on the MFD data button. And let me now bring up the data page. And the page we have right now here is the approach reference page. At this point, we haven't filled the uh, approach data for our arrival airport, but this gives you already a general idea. And now I can go to MFD menu, and I have a choice of other data pages I can retrieve here. So I can go to flight plan progress. And let's see that picture on the MFD. We get waypoints passed at what time with what fuel and a projection of waypoints to come and with the projected fuel level there. And also at our destination airport and our alternate. Let's go to the next page that's the NAV status. Here we get some information about estimated time and route, estimated time of arrival of the next waypoint, distance to the next waypoint, or we call it the, the uh, active waypoint, and it's always shown in magenta, uh, the desired track to that waypoint, track and other information like true airspeed, and indicated airspeed. The next page we can retrieve is the position summary page. It's also some information, and there is a position report page. We push position report. And then there is the VOR status page. And the GPS or GNSS status page. That's of course important because that shows us if we have the satellites in view.